I'm not doing quick draft. Couldn't be me. Gotta be premier draft. Hello, Magic players. It's Corn Time 60, that corny guy. Gonna draft some more. Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Still trying to figure out the format, huh? Uh, Path to Exile is pretty good. Seraphic Steed is pretty good. Lassoed by the law. What's this do? A ring, plus it makes a 1 1. I do like Intimidation Campaign and Vault Plunderer, but I think I'm gonna take the Steed. Because it's a rare, and green-white is strong, I think. This is probably better than uh, Intimidation Campaign. This feels like it should be a 3-3, like Fleece Main Lion stats, but whatever. It'd probably be too strong if it was. Make your own luck is really strong. Steer clear is fine. Varmint is fine. I think I'm going to take the Varaska joins up. Silly little combo. We'll give this thing first strike death touch. What is this? Can't be blocked if you've committed a crime this turn, and whenever it hits player, draw a card. Take the Varaska joins up. That's a Stoneforge Mystic? Um, I don't know if there are any decent equipment in this actual set, though. I kind of want to take the Stoneforge Mystic just so I don't have to spend a wild card if I ever feel like building a Stoneforge Mystic deck. Probably the correct choice is, like, the Mourner Surprise. Or the Blooming Marsh. No way. That's actually hilarious. I mean, I have to now, right? I'm gonna get the swords. I'm gonna get the sword of uh, wealth and power now. I don't like this art for Stoneforge as much. Like, you would not want to be over the lava because heat rises. Like, her arms would be on fire. And I mean that literally. Her arms would be on fire. Um. What is this? Yeah, I think. I think the stagecoach security. It's a good card. Claim jumper is pretty solid. Prairie dog is pretty solid. So is Ariette's lullaby. I think I'll take the claim jumper. Apparently, I'm just rare drafting. What does this do? Blink something and then destroy the biggest creature. It's pretty good, actually. I'm like, I don't need the Varaska joins up. I can I can just be green-white. Honestly, I'm more in white than anything else right now. I'll take the... The Glamour's pretty good. Like, what am I going to blink, though? Claim Jumper? Stagecoach Security? I guess it is technically a better card. Take the Bighorn or plan the heist. I mean, four mana draw three cards is, is pretty, pretty huge, actually. I think I'll take the Bighorn, though. Primarily mono white right now. Not crazy about Mine Raider or Link Breaker, so. I mean, I'm not crazy about the Gardener either. Put a plus one counter on the creature, untap a land, or target creature can't block this turn. Trickshot is a really good red card. Explosive derailment's okay too. 
I'll take the trick shot. Probably won't run it. Warner Surprise is a good card. Already not wanting to run the Gardener. Savage Smash if I'm in green and red. That's more than a little bit of a stretch, but... I mean, I could do Naya. That is technically an option. Oh, we have a strong white base, though. Like, literally curve. One, two, three, four, five. Um, Rodeo Pyromancers is not good, but I'll take it since I'm very unlikely to shift into blue at this point. I'm leaning more towards just white-green, to be perfectly honest. And now even more so. Or you commit a crime, each opponent mills three cards, triggers only once each turn. Yeah, let's get the free strider look out and just try for green-white. <sighs> Mystical Tether is also really good. Thing can ramp so much, though. No, there's a Caustic Bronco. And Baron Bertram Greywater, also a pretty good card. I'm tap all creatures and target creature gains double strike. That card's okay. I don't have a lot of things that commit crimes right now anyway. Actually, zero things that commit crimes right now. That's not true. The GTA. <laughs> taking the hard bristle bandit Gissa Gissa is actually nuts isn't it card's actually insane whenever you commit a crime make two two twos that get plus one plus so make two three threes you trigger that once you, you're winning the game and there's Wiley Duke Smuggler Surprise is okay. I'm honestly not crazy about it. I'd rather take the clear shot, I think, or even just a mana fixing. I'll take the Cac Tarantula, maybe. It's either t the Tarantula or the Arynx. Take the tarantula. I mean, one or two bombs is pretty useful. And things I have the four power. One, two, three. So I'm pretty unlikely to trigger this to draw a card, but it is still a three mana three three or a two mana three three even. That's the right one to take. Gold Rush is pretty top tier. Another Aranx would be good. So would Ankle Biter. Uh, I feel like this is a good combat trick. It's just plus two, plus two, and make a treasure. Maybe I was supposed to take the Arynx there. I don't know. Take the Conduit Pylons. Rise of the Varmints. I don't think is that great, but it's kind of better than everything else here. I don't really want to run a lot of Conduit Pylons, but... I mean, this is above cost if you have three creatures in your graveyard. It's pretty good. 
What's the Rampage, Thornado, or Freestrider? I think I'll take the Thornado since I don't have any real flying. And it just cycles anyways. Uh, the Free Strider can be big, though. It's weird that that went all the way around. I guess people are starting to figure out that this is not actually a very good card. <laughs> you have to pay what? Eight, if you want to make it really good, if you pay eight, you could still whiff off your top four. You could still get nothing. Yeah, I mean, redundancy on my most powerful mythic is pretty good. I didn't notice that. It has vigilance, and it has to tap for the ability to go off, so... Kinda want the Archmage as new. <laughs> Just maybe I'll build a deck with it once, you know, later on. Um, I'll take the Varmint. Let's build the actual best draft deck that I can. Uh, considering I only have two cards that commit crimes, the Free Strider Lookout is basically just a three mana three three reach. If you try, okay, I have three things that commit crimes because I have the Varmint. I would really love to get like a removal spell or something. Why is there a Stinger Back Terror here? Is no one in red? I'm supposed to take the Tether, right? But there is another rare. Am I just rare drafting? I'm not going to run it. What would I run? That and Savage Smash. It would be my red splash. And Trick Shot, maybe. Oh, I'll take the removal spell. I'm going to end up having to spend a wild card on the stupid Stinger back later. I mean, yeah, I should have taken the Stinger back. So that's telling me. Pillage the Bog is really good. I saw someone play this and they just looked at like their top 10 cards and grabbed one. That's really good. What are you? Not good. Uh, Steer Clear is probably the right pick here. I kind of want to take the Memory Vessel though. Just to save myself a wild card if I feel like doing it later on. Uh, you know, I thought Reach for the Sky was a bad card, but it won me a draft in real life, so. It won me several games in that draft, so. Uh, I think I may have uh, viewed it wrongly. Let's get Steer Clear. I want more removal. Another Dance of the Tumbleweeds. Probably won't run both. Boombox. Yeah, this is kind of a crappy 23. I guess I can jam in Rise of the Varmints. If I grabbed the dragon, I'd be splashing red for three cards. How good is this guy? Four mana. Oxen you control have double strike. That's a sheep. I don't have any oxen. I don't have any oxen, so like, unless he actually manages to make a token, that part's useless. 4 mana, 4-3, four, exile the top card of your library when it attacks, and you may cast it. I'm not running three copies of Steer Clear. How many, uh, how many steeds do I have? How many mounts do I have? 
One, two. That actually sucks. I need I needed more mounts to make this deck work well. I mean there is the quill charger. Let's see, if I splash red, it's those three. Those four, really. And I cut some bad cards like Boombox. Cut Rise of the Varmints, probably. No, I'm probably not supposed to run red. Just means I'm running some, some not so good cards. I'll take the boom box, why not? And I think I'm more green than white slightly, so. Alright, there's the deck. A little suboptimal green white mount deck, which only has two mounts. Which means Wily Duke is effectively just a four mana four two, excuse me three mana four two vigilance which is still a good card don't get me wrong a three mana four two vigilance is that's fine it's, it's it's fine it's not great bad jewel thief i guess uh i have to mulligan this man the arena shuffler is making me superstitious like let's keep this drop the boom box Sure. Howdy. Dead eye. Sure. Let's play this guy. Try to get some mana rolling. Holy crap. That's actually the worst thing I could have drawn to. Okay, so we're gonna have to just do this right now. Because I don't want Magda around. Card's kinda nuts. Alright, Jite. Which now makes my Stoneforge Mystic worthless. I'm still glad I played the Hard Bristle Bandit, though. I mean, missing a third land drop hurts. Yeah, and then him killing my Mana Dork when I've missed my third land drop really hurts. Yep, makes sense. Really? Dude's just trying to kill everything that comes down. Um... I could ramp, but that's kind of not great. It's not the worst. Actually, the more I think about it, it's probably the right play. Like... Because I can surveil for another land, yeah. And then next turn I can play the Tarantula.
damage. Even if he kills it, I'm going to draw a card off of him killing it. Frick, will you stop killing all of my things? Yes, I would like to draw a card. Thank you. Where were you, like, several turns ago? Going aggro as much as he can, alright. What removal spell do you have now? Holy crap. I'm actually mad. One, two, three, four removal spells. Okay, um... Stoneforge. Fail to find. Uh, equip the Jite with colorless. Frickin' what now? What removal spell do you have now? I mean, I'm not gonna just let myself take the damage. Even though I know he can get his creature back. Strider Lookout. Let's equip that over. Actually, I should have attacked with this. Uh, whatever, man. Because what I could have done is attack with the Stone Forge. He blocks, which is fine. And then... Jite would have another counter. He's able to drain me for two a turn using this method. Yeah, that's fine. It's not really fine, it kind of sucks. I can activate Stoneforge even if I don't have an equipment. It's kind of goofy. Yeah, he doesn't even have to play other cards. I kind of can't beat what he has on board. Why would you discard that? Like, that card's great. I would have just played that instead of the stupid peddler. I guess he's digging for more removal. That actually sucks. I don't know how this could get much worse. Alright, uh, let's swing with the Free Strider, though. He just takes four. Yeah.
Yeah, I don't think I can beat what he's doing. Which just drains me for two life every turn. Prickly pear, sure. What could I draw right now? Not Smuggler Surprise, because I bought on that, right? Well, I've shuffled since then. <sighs> Wish you would swing with the Peddler. No blocks. Holy moly. All right. Mulligan a one land hand and then draw like ten lands. That's that's Magic the Gathering, folks. Okay, I think I keep this. Because the opponent's going first, I can probably get one land off Claim Jumper. Um, on the off chance he has a Hasty Boy, I'll play that first. Varmint. Gila Courser, sure. Should I act like I'm missing a land drop? Nah. Leave that on top. Thinking. Pondering. Sure. Sure. Um, let's just go ahead and kill it. I don't know if the steer clear is ever going to be useful afterwards. I kind of wish he had hit the ramp off that. Some vigilance up in here. Isn't that the art for the Annie joins up? Her hat is floating. Stop that. Go away. Yeah, it is. Sure. 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 Slam the security. I don't think I even care about the ferocification. I think I'd rather have the varmint.
that's fine. Yeah, that works. I think I'm just gonna play this as a 3-3. That way it can attack next turn. I think they forgot about the varmint being able to kill buried in the garden. Are you throwing apple to the horse? That's cute. Sure. Six pests. Okay, yeah, that's a little scary, actually. dead now. Uh, I don't even have to do this, but, like, he's dead. GG. Yeehaw. Like, your death triggers use the stack, so you lose. Like, that's not lifelink. Yeah, he needed to block one of my other... Actually, even if he blocked one of my other creatures, I just gold rush whichever one isn't blocked. He needed to one-to-one -one block. One on each of them. Ugh, one silly misplay. That's all it takes. That was a good game, though. I, I did things, my opponent did things. It's the way it should be. Oh, yeah. Okay. Play the boombox for mana efficiency or whatever. Satoru the Infiltrator. Char, Wily Duke, a, a tin hero? A tin hero, she's tin. I didn't know she was made of tin. Plot this. I don't know how to deal with Satoru right now. Oh, really? They're actually doing some fuck shit. Alright, um. Play the Steed. Play the Jite. Uh, I'm probably supposed to just slam the security as well. Go with oops. That actually sucks. The fact that he hit the correct thing bothers me. 
think we just run this out to draw. Oh, really? So that's actually six. So what I can do is I can steer clear. And then they'll trade out. And I can pass. I'm fine with that. Three, four, five, six. So the claim jumper does get me an extra land. Okay. Let's go ahead and trade out and still have a Jite. Uh, that's kind of a nothing creature, I think. Give him the counter. My Rise of the Varmints. That's fine, actually. Um, what do I have? I have seven, so I can't quite do all of the things, but I can do the Mill Thor, get two creatures. Hexproof and Indestructible. Yeah, let's start with Swingin'. Okay, let's give you a counter. This is an instant, right? Yeah, I'll just hold it up. I can also pop the boom box, yeah. The Jite is pretty good. I mean, it's no, it's no Umazawa's Jite, right? It's not that level of absurdly strong, but. Actually, why didn't they just reprint Umazawa's Jite? That'd be pretty cool. Like, if that was in the vault. A Piron. Ape Iron. Is it Ape Iron or a Piron? It's probably supposed to be Ape Iron. So you turn one Derp, turn two Bandit, turn three whatever. I don't know. Probably Smuggler Surprise just to get more creatures in hand. Or try to, anyways. I don't think there's a one mana haste creature, is there? Don't. Why you want to kill my bandit? So rude. Wily Duke.
He's thinking real hard about it, huh? Alright, yeah, kill it. I mean, it's, if this turns in to draw two creatures, then it's a pretty solid card. Also gives hexproof and indestructible, though. Yeah, so. Seen a fair few worlds in my travels, and there's always some low life looking to prey on the innocent. That's where I come in. I think I just play the tarantula. Like, I could play this saddle and draw a card, but I feel like having a 6 5 is probably better. Does he have like a fight spell or a punch spell? Okay, that's fine. No more Wily Duke. Um, I mean, he'd have to trade both of them with my Tarantula. Which I'm fine with it if he does it. Sure, you can saddle post-combat, which is kind of funny. I think you can also saddle a creature that's already saddled. Okay, he's done. Too much value. Yeah, Wily Duke is a little good. Even as just a 3-mana 4-2 Vigilance. It's especially good if I were to go, like, Seraphic Steed into Wily Duke. That'd be kind of nuts. Sheepdog. Ooh. Risky, risky, risky. I'll keep it. Hopefully I draw planes. As odd as that sounds. Ouch. You can plot this. I forgot this can also hit lands. It's pretty good. Ooh, we drew the thing. Steed time. And he had no removal spell. We're still here. Oh, I'm here for it, man. I am here for it. I'll keep a tether on top. Wily do. Saddle. Oh man, that is, that is the craziest this could go. <laughs> I talk about it and it happens. That's nuts. Lassoed by the law. Yeah, 
A seraphic Steed's probably the correct target. Play the V Spawn Outcaster because it draws me a card. That's silly, because now I can kill his lassoed by the law. Next turn, anyways. Sure. So I have Tether and Steer Clear. Also, I have the Smuggler Surprise, which, if he tries to kill Wily Duke, is pretty solid. So I think I just start with swinging out. Okay, so what we do is we. Steer clear here. And then we smuggler surprise for both of these modes. Kind of sucks to only get lands off of it, but hey, whatever. He's done. Apparently rare drafting works out pretty well. Only in platinum tier. Can I make it to diamond in this draft? Do I still have four more games left? No, I cannot make it to diamond with this draft. Um. Hmm. I'll take that risk. It's a pretty big risk. Ooh, we got there. All right, so I think I'm actually supposed to play the Wily Duke right now. Next turn I can free stride or steer clear, theoretically. Does he have a counter spell? Uh, I don't want to trade with that. Stone Roundup, which means he has a second spell to play. It's a bounce spell, okay. Play Wily Duke and pass. It's what I've got. Poth a sizzle. This guy doing the blue red thing. I was really hoping he'd swing his Razzle Dazzler into it. Do I do this? I think I do. As crazy as it seems. 
And let's go and plot this thing. I'd rather play it later when I can get at least two creatures out of it. But now I'm top decking and he has four cards, of three cards in hand. What's he plotting? Sharpshooter. Oh no! Yeah, that's pretty good. That means he can double spell next turn. I'll take a boombox. It's not bad. Uh, I also think I'll just Rise of the Varmints now. To get a couple of Varmints. Next turn, worst case scenario, I boombox him. Best case scenario, I draw, I don't know, Cactarantula, I guess. Sharpshooter, and then something else. No way he doesn't double spell, right? I'll block. Lone Shark, make a 1-1. One, one. Draw a card. Pretty good. Card is this. Ouch. Um, well, at least I get to take that off top. Um. So I shouldn't have blocked. I should have waited and used it to double block the sharpshooter or something. Does this hit enchantments too? Nope. Artifact, creature, and land. Boom. Oh, that's nuts. I think I'm losing this one. Especially he just replays the loan chart, makes a 1-1, one -one, and draws a card. Okay. Well, this deck works pretty well when I don't flood. Oh, and there were only three games left. If I had one, I could have made it to Diamond. Lame. Lame. All right. I'm a little mad about that game. Like, yeah, my opponent's deck was really good, but also I flooded out. I feel like I didn't put up as much of a fight as I should have. Like, even if my deck played pretty optimally, I probably was still losing that game. But instead, I got to sit there and do nothing for several turns. The blue-red deck looks fun to play. I don't think I've done blue-red yet. Lone Shark is like the card you need for it, though. Because it lets you double spell and draw a card. If there were more cantrips in the set, I think blue-red would be even better. <sighs> yeah, okay. Stoneforge into Jite just sounds cool. Ouch. I mean, if that's the extent of everything I do, though, then that would kind of suck. Jite equip swing, probably. Depends what he does. Arynx. Sure. I do still think I Jite equip swing. Like. I don't think he blocks this. Like, I think it's actually incorrect for him to block.
Of course, now I've missed a land drop. Stubborn Brofiend, fine. Saddle Swing. So I have Steer Clear and Getaway Glamour. Gleamer. I'll take three. Ouch. That sucks. Um... Alright, this one I can't even blame uh, the game. I blame myself for keeping this hand. I would really love to draw a forest here. That would be great. Thank you. Thank you, deck. I appreciate that. Um, let's play the steed. Swing for one. And equip over. Don't look at my horse. It's my horse. It's fine woods, sure. Ooh. He's gambling now. Does he know how Jite works? This is the moment. Ooh, he does. That's pretty good. All right. I still think I uh, give it the counters, though. Uh, do I play this and draw and swing? Or do I tether that and swing? I think getting down another creature is actually pretty important. And then I can also saddle. Yeah, gaining some life off that is also pretty nice. Bridal Bighorn, sure. No attacks. My turn. Um. I'd love to have Gold Rush be a blowout here. I think I just saddle and swing with these two, right? I think this is correct. It has first strike. I don't even have to do anything right now. Okay, so now I do. So let's just gold rush here. Uh, yep. Oh, he's done. Can't deal with the horse. Yeah, Jite on the horse is really good. I could have also used Getaway Gleamer to kill one of his creatures and blink my thing that draws a card, and that also would have made me win the combat. I 
Actually, I didn't even have to cast that. I could have let the first strike kill his creature, then use the Jite to add two plus one counters, and my thing would have survived combat. So his block was wrong just by what's on board. Jite with first strike is pretty good. All right, let's get another opponent. See if green white can carry us to the win. Kara, age X. Age 10? Sheesh, I'm playing against a 10 year old named Kara. Okay. Uh, I will keep this because this surveils me. I have a decent chance of drawing lands I need and also the gardener. Show me a planes. Uh, that's a good card, but I'm gonna mill it because it's not the land I need. Jite. Opponent's doing a whole lot of nothing, eh? Gardner? Oh, he has a removal spell. I don't know what removal spell in green-white that's instant speed. <sighs> I kind of hate the Goose Mother pet. It's kind of ugly. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I can blink some... Oh, no, I can kill, actually. He has one more land than me, so playing the Claim Jumper... <laughs> would mean getting an extra planes. I think I'm gonna plot the free strider. And then just pass. Cause this will be a five five afterwards, yeah. So as long as he doesn't miss a land drop here, then I can claim jumper for two planes and then play a 5-5. Five five. Ooh, that's actually scary. Seraphic Steed is actually kind of scary. I know how crazy that card can get. Now what? Okay, he did not miss a land drop. That's good. Um, and we will GT. Um, Like, if he has removal, this is wrong, but I think it's right to put it on him. Depending upon the removal at hand. Ah, oh, well. Okay. Uh, let's grab a planes because of the getaway glamour. Okay. I can also just Wily Duke Bighorn and start drawing and gaining. I'm gonna saddle the Bighorn. Yeah, it's probably smart. Like, I'll block, man. So I should have equipped GTA to Claim Jumper. It wouldn't have mattered either way, but yeah, I think that would have been correct. Okay, I want to keep four up for Getaway Glamour. So I think I'm supposed to just play... Uh, 
three, four, five. Well, I could just play the three mana getaway glamour, actually. Because that's the kill spell. So I think I stagecoach, swing with the claim jumper? Can Bighorn Wily Duke, but that's not as good. Or I can just Wily Duke. I can Wily Duke equip. Can I Bighorn equip? I can Bighorn equip. Let's play Bighorn. Equip Jite to the Bighorn. And then pass. I can kill the train which is fine, like, that's good, but I'm still going to be in kind of a precarious position with the train dead. Uses the train to saddle the steed. And now I really wish I had the mana to blink the steed. Okay, no, nope, there we go. Let's just kill the train then. Okay, sure. Um, this comes in untapped, right? So let's see, if I pay six, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'll still have one, two, three, and be able to play Wily Duke using this new desert or forest that I'm going to get. Two, three, four, five. Kinda doesn't matter at that point. Wily Duke, saddle up. I don't think I even attack, though, honestly. I swing he just double blocks here and I trade with a 1-1 one, one cheap. That's pretty bad. Saddle up, huh? I want to, I want it dead. <laughs> That's awful for me. Now he just replays it, yeah. It's pretty good. I still think I want to saddle with Wily Duke because I want to keep drawing cards and gaining life. And like he'll definitely trade something with Wily Duke if I attack with her.
mean, that half helps him. I wish it said, like, put a minus one counter on a creature instead of target creature can't block. That sure be nice. Um, I'm gonna plot this. I don't intend on moving the GTA right now anyway. Dillo. Sure. Alright, let me think. If I remove these two as blockers, he has three blockers. He blocks my three biggest. Bop, bop, bop. His tail takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not quite lethal, huh? Huh. So, if that be the case, then we saddle. I remove that as a blocker and give this a counter, it only has five, so. I think what I do is I remove the armadillo as a blocker, equip over to the 8-8, eight, eight, and swing with my 8-8 eight, eight and my 4-5. Yeah. So he takes four. Get an extra counter on the Gite and equip it back over to the sheep. And then pass. I think I can kill him if he does that. Yeah, like, I think I kill him now. Right? Depending on what's in his hand. Let's do some mathematics. I remove two blockers. Bop, bop. Or even bop, bop. Swing out. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He only has, if he only has two blockers, he blocks the two biggest. He still takes way more than lethal. So I think that's the right way to do this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't care about mana efficiency when I have this much mana. Um, sure, let's target the armadillo. I have all the mana anyway. I'll hold back just the sheep. Pretty sure that's lethal, though. Like, he blocks the two biggest, he still takes way more damage than is needed to finish the job. Alright, green-white is a fun archetype. Alright. 
Nobiru. Okay. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Yeah, okay. It's, it's not the best hand ever, but it's sure not bad. It'd be cool if they had, like, a watermark of a horseshoe, all the mountain creatures. I turn two steed, turn three plot, turn four bighorn. Ideally, I draw like a wily duke. That's also not bad. That's not a bad top deck. It's pretty okay a removal spell as things stand right now. Hard bristle, sure. Um, let's play the boom box. If he wants to be clever and attack with his hard bristle bandit, then I can kill it. Nope. What did he plot? Spinewood's Paladin. That's fine. So, I think I plot my stagecoach security? The Spinewoods dies to the steer clear, so. Don't look at my horse. Stop looking at my horse. I'll cast her Trailblazer. I'm terrified. That's actually a hell of a play. It's legitimately a hell of a play. And a Bristleback Sentry, okay. Okay. No, I did that wrong! Oh, I'm an idiot. All right, well, whatever. That's fine. Saddle here. Make a thing. It's actually the ideal way that he could have blocked for things to work out well for me. That's not true. If he had blocked with just, uh, was it Trailblazer and the Spinewoods, that would have been ideal. You should kill the Steed. You should, you should prioritize killing the Steed over killing the, um... Oh, it's a fight spell. Cool, I gained two life. I'll take it. <laughs> it's a 6-2 for right now. I don't know if I block it with the Angel. I was probably supposed to block it with the Angel if he gave me the option. Yeah, I mean, let's turn cards sideways. That's what we're here to do. Um, we'll play this. Alcaster Trailblazer is so insane. Another steer clear. That's actually amazing. Saddle here. Let's see how he decides to block.
Uh, steer clear, doing some work. Card strong, actually. One win off of reaching a diamond tier, which is pretty lame, but that's okay. I'm going to screenshot this for my Discord group. Two Wily Dukes is funny. Stoneforge with Jite is funny. Alright, I had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed that as well, and peace out, y'all.